All right, we're back. Part two, Zoo Tycoon. Thank you, everybody. You checked out uh, part one, in any shape or form. Um, yeah, let's continue building our zoo and just enjoying it. Uh, super, super chill game. Really, really fun. I'm absolutely enthralled by this game and the vibes that it brings. Uh, let me bring up chat here. So we were working on our savanna mostly in the first episode. We may continue that. We got the grassland started. We just put down something for the tropical biome, but I don't know how much of that we're actually going to work on right now. And again, we might um, we might move a lot of stuff around eventually once we get everything down that we want to put down, you know. Um, but for now, everything's looking pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Um, Got a little food court area here. And then a plaza. I kind of would like these all to be kind of connected. As opposed to being like, I don't know. Maybe this is not bad. Um, let's see, because Savannah is gonna, this is gonna connect into the tropical area most likely. Let's put like another like maybe big exhibit over here at the end. Savannah Large. Kind of like right at the edge of the map here. So there's like one more thing here. See what we can do for animals. Um, maybe another type of elephants. We got giraffes. We have rhinos right there. Probably another type of elephants. Oh, we don't even have. We already have the African bush elephants. Maybe these Maasai giraffes? Not Jesse, we gotta put that one down. <coughs> Sassy? Alright. Ben. There we go. And they should be pretty good over here. Alright, let's add. Let's customize this first. Trash cans. Desert ones. As we know, we're keeping up with the savanna theme. Into the grasslands walls. We'll do tall desert wall. Let me block some of that sun. There's a lot of shade over here to begin with anyways, but All right, uh, animal care we need Fruit and then over here I think all animals like these. There we go. And then maybe interaction. Pronghorn antelopes we've unlocked, all right? Feeding interaction. And then an enrichment over here. And these will be happy. Happy, happy giraffes, I believe. What 
do the giraffes like the most here? And the giraffes aren't three stars on any of these things. I thought they liked uh, rope toys. Oh, here we go. There we go. All right. And that should be good. They should be pretty happy over here. So that's kind of at the end of the savanna. You'll get more drafts. Hmm. Lots of people over here already. Look at this. This mirrors the sound kind of like off right now. I'm trying to call my buggy, that's not working. This is weird. It's like all I'm hearing is the music. It's kind of strange, right? I don't hear like the background chatter. There's my buggy. Whoops. Back up. Yeah, what the heck, the sound isn't on the game. That's weird. I need to fix this. Uh, maybe I just reset it and it'll work. I'm not getting any of the, uh, any of the sounds. What's up, Nick? Yeah, going early again today. We might do another stream later, too, again, like I did yesterday. Popping on again for make it. We have a zoo, man. Zoom. Alright, let me see. Did I like mute? The effects volume. Oh wait, no wonder why. Why? The effects volume was turned all the way down for some reason. I have no idea why that was, but here we go. Now we can hear everything. Look okay, out! We definitely need like decorations in here. This is a big area. Maybe we could put something here. Let's see what we could actually put here. There's a Komodo dragon statue. What a giraffe statue. That'd be nice right here next to the giraffes. This would make sense, right? Kind of connecting another way over there too. There we go. Get to this one. Oh yeah, no worries, no man. We um, that sucks. You had to work on the weekend, but. Yeah, I, I figured that this game would be a good one to, to play like earlier in the day, so you know, the weather's nice. Jesse and I were just out grabbing some bagels and doing a little food shopping. Um, and now we're enjoying... Just 
some uh, Zoo Tycoon. Absolutely, I started playing this game yesterday and I absolutely love it. It's probably one of my favorite like newer games I've tried this year. Or games I haven't played before that I tried this year I should say. And Desert Path, there we go. Alright, we come down here and we got this nice giraffe statue. Welcoming you to our another giraffe exhibit. You played a tiny bit of this during quarantine? Oh wow. Yeah, it was like a it was like a I don't know if it was a launch title with Xbox One, but it was close to it when this game came out. This may have been a launch title with the system, I don't remember, but Yeah, this is my first time uh really giving it a go. I played like the demo a while ago. I tried out the demo. And I thought it was like pretty cool. I played it for a little bit just like walking around and, and stuff. And but the full game here, this is in, this is awesome with all the stuff that you can build. In this freeform mode. Excellent. And it's just fun to like walk around your zoo and like check it out. Let alone build everything. Oh, let's see if we can get one of these animals with the washer. Come on, get over here. Oh, here comes the rhino. He wants some of this. He's all about it. This is the only power wash simulator you need. Happy. All right. It's just so this game's just so user friendly too. The way it just you could drop in and out of any area you want. How you maintain a lot of things. Wait, what is this? Macaw keeper. I need to repair that. Upgrade that. We have unlocked greater flamingos and a, ry a rhino topiary. Wait, right, that's more for the center of the park. Entertainment. So here's our lion. Should, should we change this? What if any lions... Well, we could get a lion one in the savannah maybe. We haven't put any lions down yet. we can put here um, here we go Katanga lions in the savannah Maasai lions Transvaal lions as well West Africa let's put these West African lions in we'll put Daisy We don't, we don't have lions yet. 
I'll put thunder. There's Daisy. And then we can put baby one too, maybe? Ian? Lion Cub? Unlock the new breed of uh, rhinos. My zoo is massive. Oh yeah, this thing's gonna be ridiculously big. Like this is just the savanna over here. All of this is just the savanna. This is my main entrance. So you can see you come in. We got this main plaza with a gift shop, some balloon, a balloon shop, a bathroom, some entertainment. And then you go to the left, you're going to go to the grasslands where we have our workers right there in their buildings. There's a little shake shop, shake shake. The grasslands so far, we have two different types of antelope and we have hippopotamuses. But I've been really just working on the savanna mostly. You come over here, there's a bathroom at the front here too. Then we have a little elephant statue with giraffes, a mascot. Little mini food court here. We got a good burger. We have a loose juice. <laughs> Elephants. Uh, this is the janitor's office there to work. A bathroom by these. Food court with the main plaza. And then tons of animal exhibits this way. Including a few smaller ones right here. And meerkats and stuff. And then you have some bigger ones now statue it's pretty good so I'm organizing it to have like a whole savanna on one part this is gonna be a tropical place out there but there's so much room to work with it's crazy look how far this goes over to these markers all the way up here like I don't think I'm gonna need all this room but we could I'm, I'm planning on building a huge park in the uh, in the zoo too just like a regular park with maybe like a really big food court next to it or something we'll see how much room we have but we have like several other biomes we gotta do as well finish the grasslands I'm gonna bring the grasslands all the way probably to the edge over here like I'm doing with the savanna tropical is gonna go in the middle and then branching off we'll have a couple other ones What else can we put here? Oh, yeah, we need to edit this exhibit here. to build animal care so they need meat <laughs> you know and we'll upgrade that too What will lions like? Scratching posts. There we go. Alright, let's see. How oh, they're looking here. There we go. Imagine lions just being like that. Like that close to the people. They could just easily jump over that wall. This is the most dangerous zoo ever. It's not safe. There's a 
black market zoo. Can reach her, reach over and touch the lions. Wait, Otani already passed Hideki Matsui for most home runs by a Japanese player? Wow. Dodgers. Dodgers were kind of struggling record wise, I know. Red Sox are in a battle in their division. It's like back and forth, all the like second through fifth. I think my Phils, my Phils won again today. Alec Bohm has been really good. The Phillies, um, the Phillies are playing really well right now. Bullpen's still struggling, but their starters have been really good and their uh, hitters have been coming alive. So the Phillies are like 14 and eight or something. Pretty good. You guys got a good win today in the Red Sox? Yeah, you guys... I think you guys might be in the playoff hunt because there's a lot of teams in the American League struggling. Like the Rangers are struggling. You know, the Mariners. Obviously the Astros. The Rays are off to a bit of a slow start too. I think you guys would be right. There's a lot of teams off to slow starts. I said the, the Dodgers are kind of not off to a great start. The Mets got off to a really bad start. They're turning around. Even the, I said the Phillies came out of the gates pretty slow, but they're starting to put it together. What's going on with this guy? You gotta take a piss or something? What's going on? What? <laughs> What's... What the heck was that behavior? Did somebody just kick him in the balls or something? What happened? <laughs> what? Why would they program that into the game? Like, that was so weird. You know, that's just not normal behavior you'd expect from an NPC in a game like this, you know, like... <laughs> so out of place, I feel like. I feel like we weren't supposed to see that. Alright. We have Janners. Alright, let's take a look on the overall the zoo. Whoops. So, our restroom is where we're struggling. So, we need another bathroom. Probably. We already have one, two three bathrooms in the park, but I guess I need another one. We're probably going to need one over. We'll put like a small one right here, I guess. Connect it to both of these so people can go to the bathroom. Over here. Oops. to level 26. I, we might have unlocked everything in the game by now. I don't know. Anything that we can in this mode. There we go. Right, now we got a bathroom over there, so that should make everybody happy. Everything's in the green now. Everybody's in the green. We may need a zookeeper building over here too, probably. We definitely need one, because we have a janitor's office here. We're going to need zookeepers for this side as well. 
Don't know where we're gonna fit that though. can help with all the animals in this in the savanna let's hire another one dick <laughs> two should be good for now hopefully Okay, right, let's dress this up like the savanna. Tidiness is now a problem. What? So they should help keep their cages clean for the most part. And I'll make sure like their food and stuff stays put up and Can I hire more staff here? I already have. Oh, I can. Let's get Matthew. So now we have four janitors working over here. Keep up with that. Everything's in the green now. We are looking good in the savanna. I think the savanna is... Like, I'm going to leave room to expand it maybe up a little bit. So... We could even, like I said, reorganize some of these small exhibits here. Like I could even get rid of this strip or like move it around and put like another exhibit like right here on the edge, which I could do. Like, let me see if I can move these to be like really close to one another. That's not connected to anything. What? It would let me put it there. There's no way to even go up and see it. I don't know how close I can get this thing. Maybe move these a little bit closer to each other. Now we'll see how this looks. Because then now maybe we can build something here. Too big. Um, let's see. We could maybe put a fountain here. Um, have like a little plaza. How about a elephant fountain? kind of connects over to there. Move these a little bit closer together can, so you can kind of see them in quick succession. So you get a good look at all those. Brings you up here. A few fun things to see here. We'll edit this. Oh, I unlock something else. All right, trees, desert.
There we go. Sweet. You want to come over here and get some shade. Enjoy the statues. Then they come over here and check out some giraffes and lions. There's a bathroom over here. So they don't have to walk all the way back over here. And then I said in some of these like these holes here, these bunkers, if you want to call them, we will like put some decor more decorations in, I think, like some of these trees we've done. We'll see. But like I'm gonna kind of refrain from that because I don't wanna we might build other stuff. We could put can we put like a small entertainment over here too, maybe? Your zoo has exceeded its limits. Wait, no. No, don't tell me my zoo limit has been reached already. There's no way. <gasps> what? Why would they give me all that room and then give me a limit? I was so excited I didn't have a limit. Is there a way to bring up my limit? Oh no. That just broke my heart. station I guess what why would they give you unlimited money but then a zoo limit If I level up my star, do I get like a do I get more zoo limit? Maybe. So Oh man, I just, that just completely derailed me in this game. Are you kidding me? We have, but we've reached a limit so we can't build anymore. Why would they give you all of this space? Like all of this space and then limit what you can build? That doesn't make any sense. I was praising this game for having an open mode like this. And then they still restrict it? Are you kidding me? What we're gonna have to do then? Is have to build, we might have to build like different zoos guys with different exhibits. Like we might just have to build like an LA zoo here and then we will, essentially we're gonna have to do the challenge mode probably. To unlock other locations. Oh, this is such a disappointment now. Are you kidding me? The only way to build more is to sell stuff. Like we have all this room to work with. I 
That's why I'm like confused. Like, why would they give us all this room to work with? Why was the habitat happiness only? really disappointed oh my gosh I had no idea you had a zoo limit I mean I'm trying to make everybody happy you're building too many enrichments It's absolutely crazy that we have. Oh man. See, the tidiness now is not as good. Let's hire another janitor. I'm trying to figure out if there's a workaround with this. Is there a way to get like unlimited limit like on this? Cause I'm really like discouraged now because it was it was just so fun to just build and just enjoy your zoo and put what you want. I had the whole plans for like this big park and different biomes, and then it tells me I reached a limit when I haven't even finished two different biomes yet. How to in how to increase the zoo capacity. That's what I need to know. Any way to increase zoo limits? That's what I'm trying to look for. Okay. Oh, there is no way to increase zoo limit? Oh my gosh. I guess other people had the same issue. That's the problem with the game, is that there's a limit. They give you a huge area to build, but they don't give you enough capacity. Wow. So the only thing that we can do, if we wanna 
see a bunch of different animals is start a bunch of different zoos and then make each one a specific biome I guess I mean that's a lot of work but it's the only thing we can do honestly it sucks that we have to do it like this but oh man guys that just completely derailed me I am like went from absolutely adoring this game to just utter disappointment um, wow they give you a limit and there's no work around for it and not even leveling up your stars or anything there's no missions you can do to unlock it it's just this is what it is which again doesn't make much sense considering they give you such a huge area to build with you figure it out you can just build endlessly along here until you just run out of space basically it's up to you to fill this space but no there's the amount of things that you can actually build but you like need all these stupid facilities to keep the, the park going it's like that takes up so much room any little add-on you do to each exhibit also counts too so like stuff that they need like washing and food that counts towards your zoo capacity that sucks every statue thing I put down every little tree every every animal I think I put in well our only workaround like I said is to just make separate zoos maybe we'll just stick with this Savannah one for now I'm gonna have to reorganize my entire park now because that just completely changes my all my plans so we're gonna just sell all my animals I have to sell my animals So we're going to have to be like a little more picky what we put down now. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. I can't believe that. I got to start selling all of my animals. slowly gonna take each one of them out one by one so let's get rid of this fire all them sorry guys you're fired we're downsizing the company today unbelievable oh, oh my gosh that was like a gut punch I had no idea there was a zoo capacity I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I was just looking through all the forums, seeing if there's a way around it. People just kept saying, nope, this is what killed the game for some people, is the fact that there is a capacity.
so yeah guys we're just gonna have to make separate zoos I mean it's not the most ideal thing but I mean what else can we do so we're gonna have to be make a much smaller zoo and make it maybe one or two different biomes with less animals sucks I was hoping for one big grand zoo that we could just play in this whole series um, yeah this this really is just taking me away from the game honestly I'm very annoyed by this but we'll see what we can do so I'm just gonna start selling I might even just start over from scratch honestly or at least just move stuff around oh my gosh why that's like the dumbest like that was such a tease they give you this whole big area and all this cool unlocks all these animals all these different biomes and like oh by the way you can only build like a sixth of that it just doesn't make any sense especially in a freeform mode when you would think you could just build till your heart's content or to like I thought the limit was literally the space that they give you like these I was like alright well that's the room we have to work with and I was more than content with that it was tons of room I don't think I needed all that room but I was going to try to eventually fill it all up with stuff now we'll never fill all that up you couldn't possibly fill it unless you put the exhibits super far away from each other like one here one like up here you walk like three miles to get to each exhibit then you could fill up the space that's about all you can do there we go So basically we're going to make this a desert zoo, I guess, a savanna zoo. Probably rename it. Oh, what a freaking disappointment. Call it the LA Savannah. I guess. Well, guys, derailed, but I guess we'll keep at least stick up with this zoo. I was looking forward to building all these other biomes too. I was so excited. <laughs> oh, it's like my dreams were crushed. Now I don't care about the guests' happiness anymore. We're going to stick with the, so if we move everything we have around right now, we, we still have room to build more stuff. So what we'll do is we'll make a main food court. We're going to have this main plaza here. So we'll move. Bathrooms here. this janitor's office over here if we can can't even do that move that here for now gosh well this makes me actually want to try a different zoo game honestly like is there one the new one that came out 
Like, I wonder... Alright, so I'm just gonna... Edit everything, too. We're just gonna stick with the desert theme for this one. I wonder if the, that game has a limitation. I want to play a, a zoo game that doesn't have a limitation. A mode like this without limits is what I want. I thought that's what this was. Oh gosh. This game went from being like a 9 to like a 7 real fast. Real fast. I still make like a main plaza thing here. Move this. I'll build my zoom more up, keep it more narrow, I guess. Shop. We gotta edit a lot of these buildings and stuff too, like this thing. Uh, gosh. I can't believe they give you a limit with this big of an area in a free form mode. free at this point. Is there a way to like research and get more animals or something? Doesn't look like it. Everything's already been researched because you in this mode you don't need to research stuff. There goes all of our awards. Um, oh, gosh, damn it. Savannah. Well, maybe we'll have to start another zoo too. But let's just let's let's just. Uh, I mean, we're still gonna have fun with the game. I don't want that to like ruin the game for me. I'm trying not to. So we're just gonna make separate zoos as many as we can with different biomes and stuff. We could maybe make this a grasslands with Savannah, but for now we'll stick to it just being a Savannah one. I just want to organize everything. 
the way I want it to be. Alright, so where do we want the food court? So when you come in, there's going to be this whole plaza. You know, you come in here, you see this, we got to edit all this too. Might even, I might even just replace this. Because that's not the animal that I want. I don't want bears if it's not even like there's no bears here, you know. So we'll just sell this whole thing. Oh boy, and then we'll build. So you have the elephant plaza. Maybe we'll just make it an elephant plaza when you come in. So I'll move this. Damn it, now I can't even like... I gotta move this now. I just have to move things around. My musical chairs here. Until I can fit this in here. I should have just started from scratch again, honestly, but I don't want to build everything again. There you go, you come in, you go here, you got your main plaza. I don't like those connectors there, I want to like... There doesn't need to be two right there. Like I want this to come like in here or something. Sucks as if there's a path already there and you can't build over it. So you have to play musical facilities until it connects the way you want to. There. That looks better, I think. And then bathrooms, gift shop up here. Souvenir shop. Stop. Right? Savannah's with two ends and the H at the end. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, well... Trees, desert... So I guess we'll just build one zoo at a time, huh? table here so we'll sell that there we go everything's gonna be in the yellow right now animal variety of course that's gonna be in the yellow because you can only put so many down now so once you run out of space to build. Like I have a lot of space to build now, so that's why I'm like, alright. Let me just focus on building the zoo like this. Gift shops and stuff. We're going to build a food court. Probably a little bit further in, honestly. We want like a main area for the food court. Let's put the food court up over here. I don't like that long road extending to it, but we're going to add more around it. those are so far apart and what sucks is like we can't put something in between here it has to be like well you know what? we'll just move it closer I guess I don't know <laughs> I don't know Food court. We'll move uh, we'll sell this. We need a bathroom over there too. This is wild, huh? What's up, Apple? How you doing? Welcome back in. Move this over here. Uh, I guess we'll put the bathroom like right here in the back. And then we'll put another food concession right there. Who's that? That's the balloon shop. that thing to welcome you to where I guess the elephants will be I guess move the elephants man this is so disappointing I am like I am I am just like dejected Absolutely dejected. Hopefully we'll still have fun with the game. 
Oh, you're going hard on One Piece this weekend, huh? There's so many episodes. <laughs> Only 4,000 left. I'd have to dedicate my life to watching through that show. Food and drink. People need another place to eat there. Okay, well, I don't know if I can build it. And we'll have the drafts over this way. Just organizing everything better. I'll we'll have a little gift shop here. So I will edit this, because this is probably a good spot for this. For now, anyways. Pop goes the balloon. Oh, man. I can't believe this game has a limit. Never going to get over that. Way to ruin the fun, Microsoft. It's blinking. What the heck? Oh, these lights are blinking. What? Oh, whatever. I'm not going to deal with those lights right now. So basically, there's a limit to how much you can build. So you know how I was building all, I wanted to build all these different biomes? I already ran out of space. I just realized that a little bit ago because I tried to build something else, like another exhibit. It said you reach zoo capacity. So you can only build so much, yet they give you all this space. I have unlimited money because this is the freeform mode, but they still limit the amount of stuff that you can build, taking away your freedom to basically uh, build, build everything you want. I thought there would be, but there isn't. There's no way around it. I looked at forums and stuff online. Other people had the same problem because... Um, they were they were trying to figure out is there a way to stop the zoo limit they said no there's no way um, and that's what ruined the game for them uh, there's like no mission or anything you can do not even like leveling up more will like open up more limit open up more space there's just a limit to what you can put down complete BS I know it really is like it went from being such a high tier game to like a mid game now I mean, I'm still going to enjoy the game. I'm still going to try to do what I can here to enjoy it. But... Yeah, this is this is not good. So I'm moving a lot of things around. Basically, what we're going to have to do is build separate zoos for different biomes, honestly. That's what we're going to have to do. Like, just focus on one biome, maybe, per zoo. I don't see what else we could do. Sucks. I wanted like one big grand zoo. Because they give you so much space. There's no way you could fill up all the space with the limitations they give you. Unless you built things super far away from each other. Like this. Like went from here all the way down to there. Which just looks stupid to me. So I'm building a more tightly compact, well thought out zoo here. That will be fun to just explore. And then maybe I'll build another one with a different biome, different locations. But I, in order to unlock other locations to build other zoos, I think I need to do like challenge mode or something. So it's just like, ugh. it just became such a different vibe now. See, I wasn't aware I had a limitation until I reached it. That bar that they barely bring any attention to underneath the 27 there there's a bar that's running it's like an olive green now that one was filled up it was like limitation I was like what? it was such a gut punch ruined my plans ruined my hopes and dreams So now I'm just organizing everything the way I want it. The elephants will be up here. I 
don't know if I want this thing. I'm just gonna sell that. I know we need entertainment. Well, maybe I'll keep it. Just gotta edit it. Oh well, I mean, there's nothing we can do about it, right? There's nothing we can do about it. We can't change the game. We can't upgrade it or anything, so... We'll just have to have fun with what we can work with. Alright. So I'm keeping everything to the desert theme. Keep the giraffes over there. Elephants and what is this? Those are rhinos. Lions. See, we're not going to have things this far in the corner now because I, I just can't. I guess I'll put the rhinos over here with. Looks pretty good, right? There's one of the rhinos there. The elephants. We have to move all this stuff. So with mini exhibits. Um, so we have a bathroom here at the front. We have a bathroom here. So tidiness is a problem. So we have the one janitor's place, which is right here. We'll have to hire another person. That should definitely bring up tidiness. Okay. We may need to hire maybe a few more eventually. Yeah, Planet Zoo. That's what I was thinking about, Apple. Like, if Planet Zoo has a mode like this without limitations that's what I want I need to like do research on that one because I'd be totally down for that because this is such a charming game but the limitation just ruins the experience here thinking that I could just build whatever I wanted I mean I'm still gonna get a lot out of this you know we're still gonna enjoy this game but we're not gonna probably play it as much as I was initially planning to because I just wanted to build one zoo and just maintain this big grand awesome zoo with all these Great animals and exhibits, a park, big food court, all that. Now to be restricted to smaller zoos with uh, less variety. You know, like I could build every biome in this zoo if I want to. I mean, maybe we could and just choose the animals that we want and just maintain one zoo. So that way I'm not jumping around to multiple zoos because that would get kind of like annoying, honestly. It is sad, isn't it? They ruined our hopes and dreams. But uh, I'll have to look into Planet Zoo or even Planet Coaster. See if we could do like a theme park one. That'd be fun. Um, I'm thinking about maybe just putting... Can I put more animals? Maybe I could put... Hang on. Can I put rhinos with the giraffes? Because maybe we could put them in one exhibit. This way I could fit more animals into a biome and then have... Maybe I can do separate biomes here still. I just have to shrink down everything, unfortunately. Like, I'm going to have to get rid of things. I have a gift shop there. Like, maybe this balloon stand, like, that's going to have to go, probably. Build another. I need another thing for the, uh, for the food court. And we'll have the grasslands over here, too. It should have let you use the whole map. I know. That's what I thought. That's what my initial thought was. Like, you just have this space to build in, which is more than enough space. 
I thought, okay, that's fair. They're giving me this area to build in, and it's up to me to fit what I want in here. And I thought, oh, I could probably fit everything I wanted in here. But no, <laughs> the space is the least of your worries. You'll never fill up the space now. You don't have to worry about that. Um, okay, Savannah. So I'm going to move these giraffes. Just here for now. Because I'm going to put them in with the rhinos. Because this is a cool that you can just like move them in. There are too many different species of animal in this exhibit already. Oh wait, can I put them? Hey, you know, oh, I could do the elephants with the uh, with the giraffes. We'll do that. That should work, maybe. If I have to, I can upgrade their exhibit to being a bigger one. So we move him over there. Move Jesse over to this way. We get more animals. Not every animal gets their own exhibit. This is going to help us like be able to put different biomes in now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to just building one zoo and maintaining the zoo and maybe we'll switch animals in and out you know so we can try different things eventually that way I'm not building like a hundred different zoos because I really don't want to do that I just wanted to maintain one so I'm gonna have to downsize this and just be more picky about what I put in like this tree here sell that boom we just, there's now we have a lot of space to work with still in our zoo capacity so I'm going to get rid of this exhibit completely, too. Let's see, move all the giraffes over here. Sassy's coming over. We can also upgrade this one to a large one so they have more room. So Savannah will be front and center here in the middle. We'll do maybe grasslands over here like we initially planned. And over on this side, we can have something completely different. It's looking like a bit of a mess right now, but we're getting it together. I'm just befuddled that they would give you a limitation. It really is like, I don't know. I would definitely want to keep lions too, because those are cool. But I don't think we can have them. Can we have the lions with another species? I don't think lions with antelopes would work, right? Because the lions would hunt the antelopes big time. I think the lions might have to be by themselves. Um... All right, they're move. They're still moving all the giraffes over here. So here we have rhinos and we have antelopes. So we could even add more rhinos and antelopes in here if we want to. What I do is maybe move one of these small exhibits. Over here. This will be good. Yeah, fill in this space right here. There you go. Now you have something to see in between those two big exhibits. We have the, uh, I think those are the meerkats. And then we will sell that one so you come in the savannas right here we have giraffes we could probably get rid of these giraffes too because like 
We already have some here. We just need to make sure everybody's happy here with what they have. Looks like everybody's happy over here. Means I might even need to, need to do more maintaining myself rather than the staff. The only thing that's not in the green is the food and drink. I'm going to build another food spot right here. So why don't we do that? Concession. We got burger. We got the loose juice. Let's have a ice cream stand. You know, it's the hot deserty savannah. People are going to want some ice cream, I think. I don't want it like connecting to those other two though. That's the thing. I'm gonna build something smaller in between. Like, oh, you know what? I'll move one of the, hang on. The decoration. Maybe like one of these, like an elephant. Yeah, right, right here. And then we'll build the ice cream shop. Maybe, maybe even like right here, actually. Problem is, we need something here, though, too. Um, You know, I really have to think everything through now. Or what exactly what I want? Oh boy. Um, this. I need to sell these giraffes too, unfortunately. Whoops, whoops, no. Michael, our very first animal. Whoops, hang on. Sorry, Michael, blame the game. We're just gonna get rid of that exhibit completely. So we're sticking with the savanna in this kind of section, and then we'll move maybe something else over here. People online seem to like Planet Zoo. I mean, if it, it's what was the Jaded was saying, it's made by the same people that did the Tycoon games back in the day. Uh, you know, roller coaster tycoon and all that. So hopefully, there's more options. Because if I can get a zoo game with even more customization and details without limits compared to this one, that'd be incredible. Because this game was already incredible until the limitation. I was already loving all the, uh, the detail and stuff you could put in. I think we'll do is we'll move this. Now I want like a grasslands thing over there. Move this there for now. If I move that over there, the lions. Let's see where are we gonna put them. Maybe we'll put the lions right here, kind of complete the uh, savanna 
in this little section. Or maybe I'll build, well, maybe I'll build out this way another biome and just put the lions like right here in the back. Does this look alright? That's pretty good. Build something else, maybe tropical over here. Let's see what we can do. No physical copies of Planet Zoo? Oh, really? I mean, that's still okay. You know, I'm like, I'm not past getting digital games at this point, but I don't, I just, you know, I still would prefer physical if I can, we know. Like, some games just aren't going to have it these days. Planet, Planet Zoo, physical copy. Let me see if there's anything. Yeah, right, it doesn't look like Planet Zoo has a physical copy, unfortunately. I think Planet Coaster does, though, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there is physicals of Planet Coaster. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, that one does, but the Zoo one doesn't. That's weird, huh? That one might be worth checking out, because it'd be cool to do like a theme park one. Just stick with the zoo for this one for now. Maybe look into Planet Zoo later on. Because I'd be down to do like a theme park uh, series too, or something like this. That would be cool. Zoo games. Zoo. I mean, there's there's also a game called Let's Build a Zoo on the Switch. You figure people love animal games more. I know you figure they would. They'd be like more in tune with that one. Oh no, there there's Let's Build a Zoo on Series X, Switch, PS4, PS5. That's another one. That one looks like a Super Nintendo style zoo builder it's got like pixelated graphics let me look at this one that one looks kind of cool actually you know it's got more you know like I say I guess it looks it looks a lot like Super Nintendo style graphics but that's all right that one actually has a physical too so there's other zoo building games we just need to I need to research and see which one I might want to get when we're uh, ready to stop playing this one because we're just going to build this zoo the best we can and maintain it and have fun with it until we're ready to say goodbye with the series I guess see I'm trying not to let the limitation ruin my, my experience here but we just have to move a lot of stuff around and get rid of a lot of stuff sell that okay now that there I need to put something over here so we have basically our savannas right here we're gonna start another biome over here too so what is this we might move this I should leave a bathroom way out here for no reason walk <laughs> here's what we'll do again we'll put a bathroom imagine this would be funny. Let me just put a bathroom like way, way, way up here. Away from everything. <laughs> I just want to see how dumb this would look. You can't even get to it. Oh, you can! <laughs> Walk walked the eight miles here to get to the bathroom. <laughs> Imagine. It's like, oh, I gotta go. But where's the bathrooms at, sir? Um, yeah, just uh, just down. Yeah, it's like four counties over that way.
Yes, the Jurassic Park Evolution games. That's another good one, Apple. Yeah, I, I really want to try those. My brother's played one. He loved it. I think uh, Jesse and her brother tried one. Said it was really good. Um, yeah, like I'm down for these kind of park building games. I love these kind of things because of Roller Coaster Tycoon. Um, I just loved playing that game when I was a kid. So this, like, these games kind of just like bring me back to being a, like a child again. <laughs> like the fun of just making something your own. And now let's sell that. Hope there was nobody in there. All right, now let's see. We'll see. Um, so I got much, much smaller savanna, but it's still gonna be packed with some decent animals. I might get rid of this. Just to put another animal in there. I don't know. The meerkats are cool. I kind of like the fossas though. Maybe I'll put them up here. Are these the fossas? Yeah. I might get rid of these animals. This I'm just gonna... Well, I'm not going to sell that yet. I think I'm going to sell this for now. Because I'm going to start another biome over here. I can move that janitor's office. Let's move these guys up over here. This will kind of complete the savanna up here, I guess. We got giraffes, we got elephants, we have fossas, we have lions, rhinos, antelope, and meerkats. Pretty good. We have a little thing leading you into the savanna. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna recolor coordinate all this stuff again. The savannah's already looking good, so don't have to worry about that. Now over here, I'm going to start building probably the tropical exhibit. Tropical media, maybe. And then we're going to move janitors over here you, you mean I can't okay I was gonna say I better be able to put them over here we're gonna make it work still we're gonna try to make it work I just have to be super picky about everything and condense more species together uh, these animals unfortunately probably gonna have to sell and again, I could sell animals and then swap them in for new ones if we want to see something different. So I'm not going to be able to have everything at once, but it doesn't mean I can't change it later, you know. So that's how we kind of get around having to build like a million different zoos. Smaller condensed. I think we kind of need something here to kind of bridge that over. Oh, it doesn't fit in here. Damn. What can I put here? Out, maybe damn nothing fits in there let me move this out put the line with the meerkat yeah <laughs> uh, I think the meerkats would be hiding away the rest of their life so I wonder if I could put anything with the lions I don't know like 
Antelope. I mean, anything with a lion, you think that they would attack antelopes for sure. They're apex predators here. I mean, they would... See, rhinos with the antelopes is fine. We know rhinos are herbivores. They're not going to go after that. I know the antelopes won't mess with a rhino. So they can live in peace. The giraffes and elephants. All good. Habitat happiness isn't good though. Maybe I need to... But what else should I put here? Maybe more food? They have a pool. Food. Oh, this also needs to be repaired. Maybe an activity center. How about like a rope toys? Elephants and giraffes seem to like this. So we'll put that in. Yeah, we gotta repair that. And it should be happy, happy over here now. Yep. Okay. Alright. Uh, like yesterday, we might do another double stream day today, guys. It's been a nice, relaxing weekend like I've needed. Um, it's probably going to play this for about maybe another hour or less, give or take. Then I'm up. And then if I can, I will hop on later tonight with something different. Um... It is nice to get some of these earlier streams in this weekend. It's been really nice. Really, really nice, relaxing. All right, so our... Okay, yeah, we gotta sell these guys, unfortunately. Wait, are these the fosses? Oh, these are the fosses. Shoot, no, I didn't... I wanted to keep them. The meerkats. What did I move here then? What are these? Wait, are these the fossils? Hang on. They look... Which one's which? They were the fossils, okay. Wow, then what's the other things? The fossils are the ones I want to keep because they're cool. The other ones look just like them. Alright. So we will... I'm just going to sell this for now. And now these guys have to be sold off too, unfortunately. What were these? Oh, these were the mongooses. No. I don't know if there's a space where I can really fit them. That makes sense. If I had space to put them right here, that'd be nice. Maybe I can connect them up here. Hang on. I gotta think about, like... I need to... You know, I can't keep everything, you know, unfortunately. Maybe we can just move them up there for now. So 
Now we have the whole savanna complete, more or less. Should be. Every animal seems to be happy in their exhibits. Cleanliness is good. And we still need to build another thing for the food court, so that's why I'm like, I think they will build it. Right next to this one. I want to figure out what I'm going to build over here first in this space. Um, yeah, we're going to start building the tropical one. Maybe today. Seems like we only built one biome and we already have more than halfway of our zoo capacity filled up. That's like the problem. It's like, what the heck do I get rid of? It's like you have to give space for janitors and workers and you need bathrooms and food court and entertainment, all this stuff. That means I can recolor coordinate all the stuff that's not part of the savanna. Like, I want to get rid of this, but, like, that's the entertainment for people, so. If I get rid of that, they're going to be pissed off. Maybe I could sell this and then just move one of the animals here for the savannah. Like move the mir the uh, mongoose right here. We have like a few small we have like a small exhibit right there. Making your way into the savanna. Give me more space. I might even have to take like... Exhibit items out of certain places. I'm just thinking here. We need one more food place and we should be okay. I'm gonna build a ice cream place, hopefully. So over here, I guess we'll start building. Grasslands. Up over here. See, I don't like the way that connects. Hot soup stand. <laughs> People are going to love that out here. Sit out in the sun and eat your hot soup. See, I don't like this here. Like, it just doesn't work here. There we go. That's more of a placement that I want. And then I'm going to build... Ice cream stand, like, right here if I can. There, and that's like your food court area connecting to the grasslands. I said I will re-edit like a lot of this stuff. Let's start with the main gate. Gonna rename the zoo again from the Savannah, the Zootopia. 
Back to Zootopia. So I'm going to try to fit different biomes in here. So we'll do city trees for this area. Brick walls and the paths. I want the pink for the tropical, so beach. Maybe we'll do beach. Or these. I guess we'll do that for the regular things. said it's kind of I guess we'll do that so I have a tropical theme for that biome I don't know it's gonna be kind of hard to pull off but we'll try Now these facilities are just themed to just generic, including this area too. Whoa. I still would like to build a park in my, I don't know if we can. Don't think we're gonna have enough space for it. Maybe we could sell this elephant thing or move that as like the centerpiece and then move this stand over here. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so torn, like I'm just trying to think like do I need all this stuff? I think we could probably get rid of rid of this. And then we'll move this over here. We'll make this the centerpiece. The center plaza, if you will. And that looks cooler. Um, and we will move this. Well, let's upgrade it. Move this over here. Too many connectors there now. So that's just part of the food court area. Then we can start building another biome out this way. Yeah, so this is going to be grasslands. Oh my, oh my. All right, then this has to be in tune with I could definitely hire more staff too. 
It looks like level 27 is the highest fame you can get, too. That's kind of weird. Okay. And then this one's got to be in two. Um, customization slots for the gift shop, just to, no, I'm going to sell that. That'll give us a little more space, I think. Little table there for people. City trash cans. Benches will be city themed, of course, and then walls, small, and then the path has to be coordinated so we know. It's easier to tell where you are. So there you go. You come into the zoo. You go straight ahead. You go to the savanna. To the right will be a tropical. To the left will be, you know, your gift shop, two facilities, and you can connect to the food court and your grasslands. Which we don't have any animals in yet, but we will. Oh wait, what kind of path do we want for grasslands? Probably these these checkered ones. Trees, desert trees for the grasslands. Benches. We don't have any animals in here yet, but we will. There we go. So on that, uh, we got ice cream. So food. The only th oh decoration is in the red. Like what the heck? We need more decoration. Oh gosh! See, once like all these things. So you're like forced to build things maybe you don't want to build, which is going to take up the space for you. Like I might have to get rid of more animals and stuff later on. Like here, can I do a decoration here? How does this not fit in there? It looks like it would. Man. Yeah, here's a decoration for y'all. Are you happy? <laughs> Apparently not. Limitations just make it. It's just brutal. It's just absolutely brutal. Oh, they should have just updated the game back then. They'd be like, "All right, we're giving you a limitless mode where you can build freely." That's what these games need. Give you a campaign and the challenges and all that stuff like this game has. Sure, that's fine. But this, like a freeform mode like this without limitations is what it really, really needs. Because people don't want to sit here and do all these mundane tasks, just trying to unlock shit or modes or whatever. Like, uh, at least for me personally, when I play a game like this, I just want to be like, let me make the world my sandbox. Let me build what I want, make a dream park, a dream zoo, whatever. And just have a good time. All right, decorations going up. And we'll get more decorations in here. Maybe the last thing we throw in. 
All right, so that's color coordinated. We also need our food court to be coordinated now. Should be this tile one, okay. Customize trees. Yeah, we'll get tons of shade over here in the food court. So we can't have like themed food courts or anything, we just have one general. For sure there should be a free creative mode, that challenge mode in a campaign for people who want it. Yeah. So this game has all those modes, but just they, they limit you on this freaking mode for some reason. This freeform mode. Split screen co op would have been awesome too, yeah. This game has online play. It does. I think the servers are still up too. So you can play up to four players online and like share your zoos. You can build a zoo, upload it, and so people can, can play in your zoo. Even if you're not playing in it, they can go in. I don't know if they can change anything, but they can go like experience your zoo which I think is a really cool feature too but yeah this game does have online co-op again this is neat that they give you that all right uh, we have everything here play more of this we're gonna just try to build a decent zoo with a good amount of biomes here with what we have to work with just kind of manage on what we can actually put in maybe only have like a certain amount of animals all that fun still. Okay, so all that's themed to just ger general. So is that one. And then that goes, once you get to this like hexagon shape kind of a tile that's in the savanna. So this needs to be general too. fit in here? That'd be sick because that would take up a little can. There we go. This is just kind of welcome you over to the tropical area. All right, looking pretty good. Savannah up here.
Not as big, but it still has packs of punch. Grasslands have been started. Food court should be done. If they need more food, we can maybe put it small with coffee stand here or something, but bathrooms are good. The only thing we're missing right now is just decorations. People are happy with the variety. Entertainment, tidiness, because we have a lot of janitors. Our staff seem to be keeping up with what the animals need. Everything's good right now, but again, it's pretty small. So this is where we'll start our tropical. So we'll get beachy trees here. Completely different vibes going on over here. We'll go with the pink paths. And what can we put in here? Chimpanzees. Lions too. We already have some lions, so I'm gonna do chimpanzees here. Central chimpanzees, bonobo chimpanzees. Central chimpanzees, I guess. Jasmine. Bessie. So like each animal takes up a lot of space too. Got a good chunk of that. Can I put a different kind of chimpanzee maybe? A nobo? Jungle Gym. And we'll see how they're getting on with this. Oh, they look good. We have our first tropical exhibit. I hope I have enough staff to run the park from just one facility each. So I don't have to build more. Oh, there is no cleaning station. Oh, shoot. This is cleanliness is fine. I guess everyone needs a cleaning station. There you go. Now y'all should be happy. There you go. So probably put maybe one, we might have like a small grasslands. Savannah we could eventually downsize too. I want to put a tundra thing too. There's so many like cool animals in this game. We'll just never get to have them all at once. And we could swap some of these animals out for something different eventually. Chimpanzees will be over there. Drop, we could do like a mini exhibit right here. Tropical. 
And what would this be? What can we put in here? Flamingos? Binturongs? What is it? What is that? Red pandas. What is this thing? Medium-sized carnivorous mammal native to Southeast Asia. Like little bears. I want some flamingos, honestly. Put Anthony. And Kiki. There you go. Yeah, flamingos. They're, these smaller ones are easy to keep up with too because they don't they have like built-in cleaning stations and feeding stations you just have to fill them up I might need to put a third one in here because there's social need I should be happy what's up jaded how goes the zookeeping it's all right I mean we we're really disappointed about Apparently this game has a limitation to what you can build, even in this freeform mode, which really slapped me in the face earlier. So now I'm just making one smaller zoo. I'm having to downsize everything. They give you a huge lot to build in, more space you could ever need, but and, and endless money to build whatever you want. Money's no issue. Problem is, there's a limitation to the amount of things that you can build. And every animal you put in, every exhibit, every facility, every piece of decoration goes towards that limit. Yeah, it's really annoying. So it's like they give you the freedom to build what you want, but then take away that freedom by saying, oh, wait, you can only build so much. I was like maybe one fifth of my zoo built and then I reached the limitation and didn't realize it until it said you can't build anymore. I was like, oh, shit, you got to be kidding me. So I've downsized a lot of stuff. I combined some of the animals. I'm building smaller biomes. Yeah, do you think Planet Zoo has a limit? I would love a zoo building game that doesn't give you a limit with like a freeform mode like this. Just build to your heart's content. Or even like Planet Coaster or something. Just a game like this that gives you no limitations. Because that's what people want to do. They want to just build the, the park of their dreams and enjoy it I would think so I might look into that one there's also one called let's build a zoo that has like Super Nintendo graphics for like PlayStation Xbox and switch I don't know if that one has like a similar mode it's a retro style looking one looks like pretty cool though um, but yeah we're gonna make the most of it I'm just gonna stick to one zoo we'll just maintain the zoo and swap animals in and out I guess as we go if we want to see something different so we have our savannas done savannas here we have our food court we have a gift shop a couple bathrooms some entertainment and decorations and then we have beginning our grasslands and our tropical which is what we're starting over here So we're going to play a little bit more today before I end, and then we might stream again later tonight. Same deal as yesterday. So we'll see. Still going to have fun with this game, you know. I'm just. It's just a bit of a sucker punch that they would limit you like this. Alright. All right, well, let's uh, let's just go in and just enjoy our zoo for a bit, shall we? <laughs> Give you guys a little tour so you come in. We'll get in one of these buggies, I guess. Actually, no, we'll stay on foot because it's nice. So you come in, you got this awesome giant topiary of a elephant. You go straight, we got the savanna, we go to the left, there's a food court, and then the beginning of the grasslands. Let's see if we go this way. Let's 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 still have our fun here. So like I'm already more than halfway through limitation, and I haven't even finished a second biome yet. That's the problem. I want like five different biomes. 
I'm gonna have to build really small ones like grasslands I might put two exhibits in and that's it and connect that to another one even downsizing the savanna later on maybe but there's so many cool animals I'm like there's over a hundred animals I want to like put a bunch of cool things in this is our zookeepers facilities or all the workers that do the job they're supposed to do their job The Xbox, I know, say it's a limit because it was, this was like a launch Xbox One title more or less. Probably in like the first year or something the system came out. Limitations and all. If Planet Zoo has no limitations, man, that's going to be awesome. That might even be more detailed with even more animals for all we know. So I'm definitely going to look into that one. Or at least Planet Coaster 2 to get us like a theme park one that we can play. I think would be awesome. Because these kind of games are just super fun. Oh, oh, oh. So this is our souvenir shop. Right near the entrance. And then this is, once you hit the gray here, you're in the grasslands. No animals over here yet, but we will build some eventually. Here is our food court. We have Good Burger. Well, I need to fix up some of the uh, bolt-ons here. Over here is our little ice cream stand. Which I need to name all this stuff too, so we'll edit this later. Planet Zoo still getting updates and DLC. Oh, that's so great. Might have to look into that one. Of course, we got the loose juice. Everyone's favorite juice. And then the bathroom's in the back. So this will connect to the grasslands and maybe another biome that direction. And again, I gotta change up some of the decorations here. To make it more on theme, but we're good there. Let's go see our exhibits that we have finished. Bathroom's nearby in case the loose juice makes you loose. Yeah, you <laughs> in case you need to let loose after the juice. Let's go. Again, this is part of our Main entrance area. It's nice. These trees offer good shade till you get to the savanna. It is elephant, or a bit of our centerpiece. Elephants will be one of the main attractions. Once we reach this other tile, we are in officially in the savanna. Here we go. Did you see that tile? Now we have our meerkats. Right ahead now. This will be a popular one. Elephants and giraffes together. So we'll have to build separate exhibits for each. This is awesome. Getting get some water there. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah it's very detailed up close that's what, I, that's what I love about this too it's so detailed a lot of sim games aren't you're right they're just like pretty basic and they a lot of sim games have basically like a overhead view like this maybe zoom down maybe this close right that's what I love about this game is that you can just You can have this overview. You can zoom in like this, build and move things however you want. And then with the touch of a button, you can land your character wherever you are and experience it on the ground in full detail with interactive things that you can do down here. 
It's awesome. You have landed on zero. You have, Pac-Man. What's up, man? You landed in the zoo. The zero zoo here. We have fossas up here. Kind of the back of the savanna. These things are cool. And also, what I love about this is it gives you an animal camera, too. It lets you zoom in. Get a good look at the animals. If you want to experience it like this. Also, as I should see, with the touch of a button, bring up Zootopia, you can learn about the animal. Their habitats, their diets, it, that is so cool. And then also, something I figured out, you can do this on the ground. You can go into picture mode, take a picture. You can find it in your animal's photo album. So I don't know how to open that. That's the first picture we've taken. So let me see. How do we get to our photo album? Oh, here we go. And it shows you how many pictures you can save up to in each animal. Wow, so one of one for fossils. That's cool. No Ninja Turtles out this week, Wrath. Uh, wait, oh yeah, new Ninja Turtles, Wrath of the Mutants. Yeah, it's um, it's a release of an arcade beat 'em up that came out in like 2017 in the arcades. I definitely want to get it. I think it's supposed to have a physical release. I don't know if that's right away. I'm gonna wait for when the physical release comes out. I played a little bit of it in arcade. It's fun. It's basically a new Turtles beat 'em up game. You know that kind of went under the radar because it was only arcade. It's not as good as like Shredder's Revenge or anything, but it's like it's all right. They have it in um, in a pizza shop right down the street from me. Honestly, they have it in it. Another early stream Twitch actor, I know. Twi two days in a row I've come on at like early afternoon. This game got a zero. <laughs> it's got. One zero, that's for sure. It's got zero tolerance. Preliminary talks of getting Helldivers 2 to Xbox? Okay. Keep me updated on that. If it does go to Xbox, I will just end up getting it on that on Xbox, but I don't say I don't need it to be on Xbox, it would be cool, but I'm still down with getting it for PlayStation. Dallas getting blown out. The world is a vampire. Man, it is. That's right. Sorry about your bulls. Not making it in. I think the Sixers are going to be one and done. Alright, our zoo is looking good. So here's our lions, of course, over here. I'm going to be ending soon, though, guys. I'm going to be ending soon. I'm going to be getting something to eat. Watching a bit of soccer and relaxing until I maybe do some uploading on my computer again. Plus, if it comes to Xbox, hold I was too, maybe I'll get more servers too, you know? More servers. As soon as you get in the chat. <laughs> yeah, that's my cue to leave. <laughs> Twitch actors here. Oh, you know, I'm gonna be ending, guys. Uh, I gotta go do something. <laughs> no, I'm ending probably in like 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm just here for the animals. Come on. Come on. 
What was up here? What was up here? Is this the rhino one? No, I might be back on later tonight, so you might see me again at my usual times. Just like yesterday. Oh, this is antelopes and rhinos here, part of the savannah. Interactive stuff. Kobe's up for most improved player. That's awesome. He can win that. And that is what we have for the savannah. This is weird here. This tile. But I'll make it work. And we come to the tropical. Where we have our chimpanzees. Nice freaking things. It was without Kawhi, yeah, when they were like, they were doing really well. The beats hurt, I know. There is always, like, it's just disappointing. Sixers fans are just, just tired of the same result every year. It's just getting old at this point. Mediocre finish in the regular season. Mediocre performance in the playoffs. There's just no, there's no steps forward. That's the problem. There's no steps forward. You're just kind of stuck in this limbo. And a lot of it comes down to injuries and just the team poorly performing and all that. That's our flamingos over there. That's all we have for tropical now. I'm gonna build one more exhibit in tropical. We're already starting to run out of room. It seems like. Anthony. This is Juliet. And Kiki. Oh, Kiki's showing off. I mean, Boston, I mean it, Boston's got to hand it to them right now in the East. Boston literally has it handed to them. The only team that maybe gets out them is Milwaukee. If they're healthy, you know. Even a healthy Sixers can't beat Boston. We already know that. Like, I've accepted that. Like, I know as much as I can't stand losing the Celtics every year, we can't beat them. It's as simple as that. We can't beat them. We've been healthy before against them. We still can't beat them. Doesn't matter. The Sixers just don't have that that mentality to them, you know. I don't know what it is. It's the culture. They've had a losing culture for so long that like it kind of still lingers there, you know. Like post Iverson, this like losing culture just kind of took over. Even pre Iverson, the Sixers were terrible. You look at their records before he came in; they had some really bad records. The Sixers have a history of being just a poor franchise. I guess in the 80s, you know, they won some titles or whatever. Back in probably the Dr. J, Moses Malone era, they were good. Probably the best years that they had. Minus, like, a few really good Allen Iverson years. The Embiid era has been kind of just, like, very mediocre at best. More disappointment. Trust the er the trust the process error limbo. Trust the limbo is more like it. I'm so over it. I'm just like like they kept drafting players that couldn't play. Embiid didn't play for two years. Ben Simmons didn't play for a year or two. Markel Fultz 
didn't play for a year or two, and they, they were just drafting players that couldn't even play at first. End up not even keeping half of them. Passing on players that would have been much better. They should have kept Michael Bridges. They could have drafted Tatum over Embiid. I mean, I'm not regretting drafting Embiid, but... Because he's been, you know... He's, a, he's just a one of the top players when he's on his game, but... Well, we can go through here. Let's get in our buggy. Whoa! I came out of the sky, I think. But he's just not healthy. Like, I'm totally down to trade and beat at this point. And wish him well wherever he goes. Get something for him. Oh! Bumper cars here. Who says this isn't a theme park? We got bumper cars. <laughs> Get out of here. We got people. Whoa. But the Sixers are closer to being a lottery team than they are to being a championship team. Right. That's for sure. I think, anyways. Because <laughs> as soon as they start losing, you know, Harris and some of these older guys. Maybe they trade Embiid. Maxi sticks around, maybe. Like Maxi might be most unlucky because he's good. He could end up being on a really bad team for years now, if like something like if Embiid doesn't stick around or if he doesn't stay healthy, you lose some of these other dudes and they decide to go the route of trying to rebuild again. Maxi might be just sitting there for years. On bad teams. It is what it is. Pat Bev. I know we had Bev Beverly. Such a stupid trade. They should have kept him. I feel like they just messed up the chemistry like midway through the season. The Sixers were doing really good for a while, but then, of course, the injury to Embiid happened. They made some trades. Like, Buddy Heald has not been very good since coming in. Campaign as well. Just They just haven't made any big impact. They're like, they have like a good game every like seven games or something. It's like these are guys that should have made bigger impacts. Especially Heald. When you're relying more on Nick Batum than Buddy Heald and stuff, then you know it's just like not going right. Having Covington would help on defense too. Like they don't have him. Melton's been you know in and out with injuries. I don't know. Just one of those years again. Hibernation mode. Yeah, that's what that's what it was, right? Ben Simmons has been in hibernation, you know, uh, hibernation mode for years. Do do do. I'm getting paid for it. But hey, I'm the fool. They're the ones making millions and millions of dollars every year. <laughs> Their draft pick was. Was it Jaden Springer this year? No. They drafted, it might have been like Traquavian Smith. They have a few young players who have promised, like Ricky Council and Smith. They don't really play them, though. I don't know if those were their draft picks this year or not. They had Jaden Springer, who looked like he could have been something pretty good. And of course, they traded him to Boston for some reason. The only thing that's not in the green is our decoration. These freaking people care so much about the decoration and not about the animals themselves. Come on. 
bring me into the team? Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy. The young, oh, yeah, I said young talent. I'd be the old talent. Or lack of talent, I should say. They need to play the young. I know, like, dude, they don't. The Sixers are so bad. They've been bad about. Like, developing their players for years. It's just really bad. The only one is Maxi. He's developed into something good. Obviously, Embiid, too, but Embiid was already somebody you thought was going to be really good. Maxi wasn't. He wasn't like a draft pick that you were like, oh, this guy is going to be a star, you know? So they developed him really well. And a lot of that comes down to Doc Rivers, I think, because he was the guy that kind of gave Maxi the keys and gave him the confidence to become this player, you know, that we've seen. And then Nick Nurse just kind of furthered that this year. But... Um, and Maxie's like the one guy, like Paul Reed's been okay, I guess, in development. He's been like a serviceable enough player. But other than that, like who else are you looking at that they've actually like developed themselves? There's nothing. Players they had that had promise, like Matisse Tybal and stuff, they just got rid of them. Like they're just like, oh, see you later. Jaden Springer, goodbye. Like, they just don't, they don't take, they don't give the time to them. Screw the animals, we want decorations, I know. Have I played Goat Simulator? No, I have not. I have not played any of those. It's about the atmosphere, I know. They want, they want atmosphere, oh, they're throwing a rock somewhere. Look at this, watch. A tree. Here's a tree. Look, boom, atmosphere. I'll bring up the decoration. Probably. Can I upgrade this stupid thing? It's still in the yellow. Whatever. They can deal with it. Maxi was great last year, maintained this year. I know. He was. He was, he's been great, as I'm saying. They had Doc Rivers really kind of just like developed him well. But overall, the franchise just sucks at developing players, let's be honest. Unlike. I mean, a lot of Philadelphia sports teams, too. The Union are probably the best. The Union are one of the best teams in MLS at developing their young talent. I think the rest of the Philadelphia teams need to take notes from them. Half their players get sold to Europe because they're too good for MLS. And these are kids that are homegrown. The Phillies are pretty poor at it. The Flyers have been poor at it for years, so... The newest one is only $5 for Series X. For Goat Simulator. <laughs> Why is that game so cheap? Dude, that was like a huge popular game for a while because everybody... It was like a meme and everybody loved it. I've seen it in action. I just haven't played it myself. What can we build here? Probably another Grasslands exhibit, I guess. I don't know. I'm probably going to end... In a minute, get going. Random sale, I know. I want to get those zoo, uh, goat simulator sales up. <laughs> Got to give Doc that at least. Yeah, they um, he did well with that. Like I said, I didn't hate Doc Rivers like everybody else, but I don't think he was the major issue. Players that don't play, players that aren't healthy. Not a really well built team either. So. What the heck? <laughs> and then more goats coming in. I thought you meant goat simulator as in embryo simulator. That's what it, that's the goat simulator right there. 
Dr. Embryo. Alright, well, we had a rude awakening with this game tonight, but we're still going to push on with it. I'm still really enjoying the game. I'm going to continue to play it and just finish the zoo and maintain it and have fun with it until we decide to end the series, I guess. We may check out other zoo games, other simulator type games like this at some point. I think it'd be fun. But um, yeah, we're going to come back to this soon and try to finish the tropical and the grasslands area. Kind of fix up some of this. Our savanna's done for now, unless we want to add in more decorations. I really don't want to spend space on decorations, though, honestly. It's just like such a waste. I'd rather save it for more animals. But... Golems, the goat game in general. <laughs> it's just the goat game. Um, but thank you everybody for coming in this afternoon. I appreciate it. Yeah, a lot of people stopped in today. Thanks for hopping on earlier with me. Those that could, thanks for watching on YouTube. Uh, I might be back tonight. We'll see uh, for another stream. So don't be surprised if I do hop on again later. In like, you know, four or five hours, whatever. Um, and play something different. But take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your Sundays if I don't see y'all. Be safe, everybody. Enjoy your gaming. We will come back to the zoo in due time. Till next time. Zero is the number. Peace out.